Cut that, my nigga. All over. Take four. Take four. Take five, my nigga. Take five. We out here. Fucking filming YouTube videos. Yo. Yeah. We back at it. It's back day. You already know. Like always, we have to start with a compound movement. So here we're doing weighted pull-ups. Five by five style. Some strength training. I got a 65 pound strapped on me. I recorded my first set and my fifth set because it would've been born recording five by five over and over. So uh, this is my fifth set here. As you can see, my chin may not look like it's getting over the bar, but it just tends to happen that I do more like scapular pulls when I get fatigued on uh, regular weighted pull-ups. So there's still quality reps. And uh, but this time my back was swollen as fuck, had a nice pump going. And this workout was kind of rushed for me. So uh, I started supersetting the rest of uh, all my sets. So here you're gonna see like uh, horizontal slash vertical post slash row machine that my gym got. And uh, it's isolateral so you can go one arm at a time, which you'll see me doing here. 10 to 12 reps on these guys, four sets. Remember, squeeze on the way down. Really feel that uh, stretch on the eccentric on the way up. And like I said, I was super saying everything. So uh, here you're going to see I did uh, seated horizontal rows next. Again, another unilateral movement. Uh, I had 90 pounds strapped on right here. 90 pounds on each side. So uh, I was doing one arm at a time, then two arms, 10 to 12 reps. Four rounds of this. By the time you're done with this, your back is blowing up. The lats feel like a Ninja Turtle back. So we moved on from here to a little more cables. You already know I like cables. And this is one of my favorite rowing, rowing movements. So uh, set up the pulley a little high. And you row to your mid sternum slash lower chest and you really get a nice squeeze in your mid back upper lats you really want to control this Just feel each rep don't let the pulley pull you on the way up and again super saiyan everything so you're gonna see here right away as soon as I'm done 12 to 15 reps drop the weight and jump to uh, cable shrugs one of my favorite movements you know, cable shrugs, you get the less stress on your hands. Heavy dumbbells would be annoying. The grip strength may fail. The line of pull on the, on the pulley is perfect for your traps. So uh, you get a real nice squeeze, and that stretch on the way down is just insane. You really feel your, tra your traps stretching. So try this one out, guys. This superset was, again, four rounds. And straight from there, we moved on to the last pulling motion of the day. There you know, I'm throwing my calisthenics in. And uh, of course, muscle ups. I did just three reps because I was fatigued as fuck. Three muscle ups, straight to three pulls. I did this for three rounds. Um, straight from there, I started to work some core and low back, which you're gonna see in a second. We moved on right to back extensions body weight only here I got no weight strapped on me remember key thing with back extension guys is to pull through your low back and your glutes you don't want to hyperextend on the way up it's just gonna put extra stress on your low back and on the way down do not lose the tension don't go flimsy stay tight feel it in your low back and your glutes and then straight from there went to Dragonflies or Dragonflies, whatever you want to call them. Maybe the Bruce Lee move. But uh, if you guys can't do this, do it on the floor, do it on a flat surface, or uh, do leg raises. But uh, get it done. And uh, hope you like it. You already know. Until next time. Cut that, my nigga. All over. Take four. Take four. Take five, my nigga. Take five. We out here. Fucking filming YouTube videos. Yo. 
All right, guys, most important thing I can tell you, though, when trying to bulk or gain weight in general, you got to be in a calorie surplus. You know, that means you got to be eating more than you're burning. So if you're in the gym, don't matter how many reps you're doing, how much weight you're lifting, if you're not eating more than you're burning, the size ain't going to come. So uh, my advice is to uh, Google TDEE calculator. That's total daily energy expenditure. You want to find that out. That's your maintenance calories. That's how many calories you need to eat if you want to stay the way you are right now. So if you don't want to stay the way you are, you've got to eat more. So if your maintenance calories, for instance, are 3,000, I would say start out eating 3,250 calories a day. Weigh yourself on the scale every day for about two weeks. If you don't see any changes, up it a little more. Go 3,350 calories a day. Most importantly, you don't want to overdo it. You don't want to start gaining too much fat. You know, you want to be proportionate with fat to muscle. Fat's always going to come when you're bulking, no matter what. So you try to limit as much as possible. Uh, be consistent and uh, watch the games come. Don't forget, like, comment, subscribe. Call the back.